Um, I never really thought I would end up having a career as a writer. Um, when I was sort of early teenager, I kind of had this romantic idea of being a journalist for the NME. Um, that didn't work out, obviously. Um, and at some point in my 20s, I had this vague idea that someone should write a book about women like me in their early 20s, which nobody seemed to be doing at the time. Um, but it wasn't until I was in my late 20s and um, I'd just been made redundant from my job as a secretary that the idea of writing at anything proper um, actually came to me. Um, and that was thanks to a conversation I had with a friend who was, who was a journalist. Um, and I'd just read High Fidelity by Nick Hornby. And it was the first time I'd read a book that really spoke to me, that I made me think, gosh, actually, maybe you can just write a book in simple language about ordinary people who live in London. Um, maybe I don't have to wait until I'm 55 years old and I've had lots of life experience. And um, anyway, this friend, she made me a bet. She said, uh, write three chapters and I'll take you out for dinner. I wrote the three chapters. She did take me out for dinner, but at no point during the process of writing those three chapters was I seriously thinking I was writing a book that would get published or that would stand any chance of being looked at seriously by anyone in the publishing industry. Um, so really, I don't think I ever thought of myself as being a full-time writer until I signed my um, first book contract, because up until that point, there was no reason to think that I should ever have to write another book as long as I lived. And up until that point, I was assuming that I would uh, go back to, to being a secretary, which is what I'd been before. So it wasn't until I'd signed my name on the dotted line that I thought, OK, that was a kind of weird, spooky fluke. Not quite sure how I pulled that one off, but now someone wants me to write another one. Um, and that was a point at which I knew that I was going to be a writer for hopefully a very long time. I try very hard not to think about who's going to read my books while I'm writing them. Uh, when I was writing the sequel to Ralph's Party, it was, it was much harder not to think about them because clearly a lot of people were going to be reading it because they'd read the first one. And as I say, there was this weight of expectation on me to give them a book that they would want to read. Generally speaking, um, I just write the book that I feel like writing at the time, that I think I'm capable of writing at the time, that I think is going to um, sustain my, you know, my, my imagination that's going to keep me ticking over, that's going to give me what I need. Um, so generally speaking, I'm quite selfish in that way. I try not to think about what my publishers want. I try not to think about what my readers want. I try not to think about what the book reviewer on The Guardian is going to want. I try just to write the book that I think at that time in my life I'm capable of starting and finishing. And that's really, that's the bottom line.